Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I am going to share with you my Excel spreadsheet, which is what I use as a database for all of the books that I own and all the books I have read that I still own that and books that are on my Kindle as well. So I'm going to show you what my spreadsheet looks like, how I use it, my process, my upkeep of it. Uh, this is something that I have had a few requests for, so I'm finally going to show it to you today. And I'm going to screen record and do a voiceover for my spreadsheet on my computer. And I hope that it's helpful. Uh, this is something that I started doing a few years ago, and it's nice to have that reference, <laughs> especially if I'm in a bookstore and I'm thinking about buying a book. I can pull it up on my phone and I can double check and make sure I don't have that because I have 100% <laughs> bought books that I've already owned before. It's been a long time since I've done that, but I have done it before. So uh, it's nice if I am ever questioning whether or not I have a book, I can look it up and just double check and make sure that I don't. And it's been helpful. So I hope it's helpful for you as well. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is what my Excel spreadsheet here looks like. I have three different columns, as you can see. I have a column for books that I have read, but I still own them. So these are books that I have read already and I decided to hang on to them because I really enjoyed them and I want them on my shelves. So that is what this first column here is. The second book is my books to read and these are physical. So these are all the physical books that I have in my house on my shelves, ready to go, ready for me to read. And then the third column is books to read that I have on Kindle or audio. So these are books that are on my Kindle or they are in one of my audiobook apps that I have. And so I keep track of all three. Um, and then every month I will update it. So when I'm done reading for the month, I will move any of my physical books from this column to either this column, or if I read a book that I don't want to hang on to, I will just delete it from this column and I don't move it over. I just delete it because I plan to get rid of it. Uh, and then any Kindle or audiobooks, when I'm done reading them, I will just delete them from this column. I don't keep them over here. Uh, because they are not physical books, so they're not something that I feel like I need to track quite as closely. Now, anytime I do a book haul and I have books to add in here, I will just add them in and I will do that for both the Kindle and the audio and my physical books as well. Okay, so if I want to add something in here, I'll show you how I do that. And this, um, so what I will do is I keep this organized by alphabetical order by title. So if I want to add something in here, I have to <laughs> put it in alphabetically. So let's say I wanted to put something in here. So I would um, hit my right cursor. So I would right click on this and I will hit insert and it will ask me if I want to shift my cells down. And that's what I always do. So it just defaults to that. So that goes down. So now I'm ready to put in another thing here. So I will double click on this and I can put in, for example, to kill a mockingbird and I will put that I'll put the title and the author as well and then when I click out of it it's there and then it has added another book in here because I've added a book so and then if I delete something I just go and I highlight the cell that I want to delete I double click on it again or I right click on it and then hit delete and it will say shift cells up and then it goes away and then the number changes here. So, and that is only for this column. It doesn't affect this column. It doesn't affect this column at all. Now, I asked my husband about this um, so I could let you guys know how this is done. However, he did say it's different with every version of Excel that you have. So the best thing to do would be just to Google how to do it <laughs> and to figure it out from there because every Excel program is going to do it a little bit differently as far as the equation. But there is some sort of equation um, that you put in here that will keep track of everything. I don't know personally how to do it, um, but he said if you just tell people to Google whatever version they have and to um, how to keep account of a row or a column, then it should be able to tell you from there. So it's just everyone is different and it's very particular. So that would be a hard thing to kind of walk you guys through. Uh, but 
yeah, that's, that's what I do here. And I go through this every single month and I will add books that I haul. I will take out books, either move books over here that I want to keep that I've read, or if I've read them and I don't want to keep them, then I will delete them completely from the spreadsheet. And then same with my Kindle and audio. Whenever I read them, I will just take them out. And it's nice to have, as you can see, obviously my physical just keeps going and going and going and going. Um, I do, I have done it by um, alphabetical order by title, like I said. And so I do keep uh, the first word as the, um, because when I originally did this, I set it to do alphabetically, automatically. And so that's how the program has done it, which is totally fine by me that this doesn't bother me at all. Um, but when I add books in here, that's when I have to put in where things go. If I put something in and tell it to sort alphabetically, it's not going to do it correctly. So um, I have to pick and choose where I'm going to go as far as alphabetical order goes, but that's really not a big deal for me. So um, yep, this is what my Excel spreadsheet looks like and how I keep it up every month. And basically by the end of the month, um, when I'm done reading for the month, I will just update this based on what I read and what I hauled and all that good stuff. And um, it's been nice. And I do keep this not only on my laptop, but I keep it in Dropbox. That way I can pull it up on my phone if I need to. Um, Cause I have pulled it up a couple times when I was book shopping just to make sure I didn't already have a book I was looking at. <laughs> and since I keep it updated monthly, it's usually pretty up to date, so. That is how I use my Excel spreadsheet to keep track of all the books that I own. Okay, guys, that it was my spreadsheet and how I use it and all that. So I hope it was helpful for anybody. If anyone has any other questions, please let me know down below and I'll try my hardest <laughs> to answer them. I am definitely not an Excel expert at all. This is kind of the most that I've done, but it's been really helpful for me and keeping up on the books that I own. So it's been nice. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. Please let me know again if you have any questions and I'll see you again soon.